Okay, so here's our poor patient, all ready for their paracentesis, but there's no paracentesis kit, or there's no collection bottles, or there's some other huge problem, and you got to work with what you got. So here's what you do. You take a regular Foley kit and clamp the end near the catheter. Then take some sterile suture removal scissors and cut a hole in the plastic tubing not too far from the Foley collection bag. Now cut the end off some IV tubing, keeping the little screw-on part on one of the ends. Don't make it too short, don't make it too long. Take the uh, end of the tubing that you cut and poke it into the Foley tubing where you cut the hole with the suture scissors. Okay, so now you do your paracentesis using whatever technique you like. Of course, uh, using sterile technique and preferably ultrasound guided. And once you verify your needle placement and you get fluid back, screw on the IV tubing to the end of your needle and watch. It's a little hard to see here, but follow the arrow. There it goes. Let's take a quick overview of the whole system again. Here is our patient. And you can see the needle in the abdomen and the IV tubing connecting to the hole in the Foley tubing. And there's ascites uh, collecting in our Foley bag. The great thing about this is that, first of all, you can see what volume you're collecting in case you don't want to take off too much fluid. It's also a sterile system, so you can easily just open it up and take out some fluid to send to the lab for whatever test you want. And look at that, our poor patient who was so unhappy before, now he's happy. Yay! Isn't medicine rewarding?